and Adam looks over to me. He says he didn't say this, but I just remember he said this. He goes, watch it not start. That, that was like, he said something along those lines. He was like, watch the boat not start. Hey yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. I was supposed to upload this bad boy yesterday, but I've been super busy traveling and I'll discuss that in this video. But anyways, this is a video that I really didn't want to make. Uh, it kind of sucks. Um, it's not like the upload that I'm, I should be super excited about. Uh... Well, I don't know where to start this. Well, anyways, as most of you guys know, if you watched the last upload, you guys know I had my first tournament of the year, or of the season, and it was the Bass State Championship on West Point Lake. We ended up finishing fifth at the state championship, and we actually missed first place by one pound. I actually missed big fish by .03, I believe it was. I had a big five and a half pounder. I'll pop the picture up on the screen right now. But anyways, it was just a great event to start the season, and with my new partner, Adam, we absolutely killed it out there. Also had three SCAD teams in the top five, which is kind of crazy. We had third place, fourth place, and fifth place. We're all separated by ounces. Like that is killer. That is killer right there. Very super proud of all of that. And it was just all in all a great first tournament. As you guys can tell, you can probably tell the wind's whipping because of my dang hair right here. It is, there's actually another hurricane that's blowing in right now, which is not good because um, I really need to film some content. This past weekend I've been out of town, so I haven't really had too much time. I am gonna discuss the West Point video on how that kind of went because I didn't get as much footage as I was expecting. Two biggest fish of the tournament I did not get on film and it was super good juicy footage too and I'm very upset about that. But the main purpose of this video, I am gonna be talking about how we caught our fish at West Point later on at the end of the video, but I do wanna discuss my boat and what happened. So, the old kick and mobile is done guys. It's, uh, I've had it for some years now. It's been an amazing boat. It's a uh, 2014 Ranger Z520C with a 250 Yamaha show on the back. It's been an amazing boat. I've absolutely loved it. Uh, it's been very reliable previously and now it's kind of getting to the point in time where it's got a lot of hours on the motor slowly started to have a lot of problems kind of build up over the years and it's just kind of started to go downhill from there in this tournament man in practice everything was fine with the boat everything was perfect comes to about 10 o'clock during the tournament and my shifter started to act very weird i, I uh, laid the boat down i put my boat in neutral and right when I put it in the neutral, shifter was going back and forth like this on its own. It was going pop, 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 like switching from drive to neutral to back to reverse, going back and forth. And as it was doing that, the back of my motor, like it kind of sounded like it was coming from the prop, was making some weird clicking noises. At this point in time, I kind of had to make a decision where, you know, I can either throw this tournament down the trash and go figure out what's wrong with my boat, or I can just last it off during the day. And that's what we decided to do. As the day went on, it started to get a lot worse. It just was not going right. It even got to the point to where <laughs> I couldn't even go in reverse anymore. I couldn't even go in neutral anymore. Right when I hit my start button, I don't have a key in my boat. It's just like a keypad. So you hold down the start button and it starts my boat. When you hold down the start button, my boat would launch right into drive right away and start going. <laughs> I mean, it was literally like we couldn't go in reverse, nothing. It was literally right when we were ready to go, I press that start button and we're going. Like, that is all I could do. So, I can only imagine that obviously something major is wrong with my boat, but it's we had to last and grind the day out and, because obviously we wanted to win this thing and we were in contention to win it, so that's what we did. It kept, Then it started to, the alarm on the boat started beeping. What happens is like if the motor overheats or something happens, there's an alarm on the boat that goes beep, 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 beep. So while we were driving, every like, I swear, like every probably two minutes, it would start beeping and then we'd have to lower the boat down, stop it, let it cool down for a second, start it back up, drive another minute to two minutes, it would start beeping again, then we have to put it down, stop it. So it was just a big mess. Well anyways, we got to the end of the day and my fishing partner Adam, we pulled up to this last spot. It was actually very, very close to the boat ramp. I'm so thankful for it. We actually had around 40 minutes until we had to weigh in, but we had to idle back in the marina. I had to drop Adam off on the dock and he had to run the key fob up there. There was not somebody to give the key fob, so we had to really spare our time on this. So, you know, we fished this last spot. I actually ended up catching one um, that was a keeper, but it didn't cull out one of our fish. We get him in the boat, you know, I do the whole thing. I'm trying to see if he's gonna cull one out. Then I end up throwing him back. We sit down, we're ready to head in. 
So right when I sit down, I throw on my life jacket. Adam throws on his life jacket, and Adam looks over to me. He says he didn't say this, but I just remember he said this. He goes, watch it not start. That, that was like, he said something along those lines. He was like, watch the boat not start. So I literally press that start button, and, and just I, I'm thinking about it, right? I'm about to press this thing. And I hold that thing down, and I'm not even joking, people. The dang boat did not start and so at that point in time it was like instant because we had to go in like we we were not we were ready like we needed to go in we had to weigh in these fish we were in contention to win so i told him i was like dude get on the trolling motor he got on the trolling motor put that thing on 100 we're just beaming towards like the front of the cove um <laughs> of the marina and so he's just beaming over there and as that's happening, I'm just trying to, you know, figure out what we could do. I'm trying to call the tournament director, doing this and this and that. And then Laura Ann, uh, which is on our team, she actually came over, pretty much picked us up. She had to pick us up. And this is the thing. In most tournaments, you're allowed to have one person stay on the boat and then one person go weigh in the fish. Well, this one, you couldn't. You had to have both people on the boat, or both people go weigh in the fish. So I had to pretty much ditch my boat in the middle of the lake. So we just drove the trolling motor over onto this little sandbar, this little clay bank, and literally ditched the boat. I dropped my power poles. The boat's just sitting out there. We grabbed the fish really quick, throw them in the bag, hop in Laura Ann's boat, and then head into weigh-in. We made it on time, everything was perfect. Ended up weighing in our fish, we were leading for a little bit, and then we ended up getting pushed down to fifth place. But it was just, from fifth place to first place, I'm telling you, it was like ounces. Like, it was like literally a pound. So it was a very, very close tournament. It was a grind for sure. It was a really freaking fun tournament, I can tell you that. And it was a very interesting tournament for sure since you know the old boat broke down obviously i'm gonna be getting a new boat don't think that i'm not obviously you know i tournament fish all the time so obviously i'm gonna be getting a new boat i film i do this for a living so obviously i'm gonna be getting a new one but it's just gonna be taking some time so what had happened was my dad actually took the boat from the tournament back home so my mechanic is actually looking at it today i did get a call from him and the lower unit is done absolutely done um which sucks because that is obviously <laughs> a big piece onto the boat. Yeah, the lower unit's done where the oil was and poured all the oil out and it's supposed to be black and it was actually gray and it had a bunch of pieces of metal in it. And what had happened was all the gears totally just shredded. So it shredded all the gears and it was all in the oil and there's metal pieces everywhere and it is just not looking good. I'm, hopefully we can get it fixed and not having to, you know, kill ourselves on money hopefully you know warranty and that whole deal turns out and works out fine but other than that i am going to be getting a new boat soon the hours are just very high on it anyways and it's time for a new boat that's about it for the boat guys i uh <laughs> i hate to break it to you but that is what happened it's not the best this isn't the best video i was wanting to make but on a happier note let's talk about how we caught those fish. So I was actually supposed to have Adam in this recap video, but he is actually in class. I really want to post this for you guys tonight, so I didn't have a choice but to go ahead and make this. I have two poles that I actually caught some fish on, and actually what the big one came on, which was this old drop shot. As you guys know, I caught a six pounder last week on the old drop shot. People say it catches small fish. Listen, a drop shot does not catch small fish. It catches big ones. That fish does not know if that bait is a drop shot or whatever it is, I promise you a drop shot catches big ones. I couldn't tell you how many fish I've caught on a drop shot. I've actually won a few tournaments on a drop shot and it's all around an amazing bait because especially on the conditions of the day because it was literally dead calm, slick water, zero wind, bluebird skies. Those fish were super lethargic. They weren't really chasing too hard and going into the tournament and even the practice days, I already know, I already pretty much predicted what was gonna happen. And also this little Texas rig speed crawl, as you guys know, best bass fishing bait. I made a video on this not too long ago, caught a few on this bad boy and they were munching on this as well. But the drop shot was pretty much the main key. Adam caught his on a shaky head, which is obviously a slow moving bait as well. And man, they were just munching it. We caught a lot more in practice um, or had a lot more bites in general. I believe Friday we probably could have caught around 40 fish. We shook off so many, they're just biting a lot better. And then the tournament, I think we caught, we culled three times. And then I caught like like three or four fish that weren't even keepers. So I mean, we caught a decent amount of fish. We caught over 10. We just happened to get the quality, which was good because we did catch a lot of shorts in practice. The second biggest fish came on a drop shot. The six pounder or the five and a half pounder came, or no, the second biggest fish came on a shaky head. 
and the five and a half pounder actually came on the old drop shot and i can tell you one thing when you hook a monster fish on a drop shot it is just insane because when you lift up on that thing you just feel like you have a log or especially a big large mouth the spots a whole different story but it's just like you got all this weight and that fish came up to the top i'm telling you and just shook his big head we thought i had about an eight pounder and i didn't say a word adam was like sitting there freaking out he was like trying to walk me through it i just did not say a word i was like all right this is uh this is not expected i was not expecting to hook one this big on this drop shot and i when we got him in the net we thought he was about seven when we threw him down in the boat but when i held him up i was like yeah it's about a five and a half six pounder but gosh that, that was a fish that was a fish right there especially in a tournament that is a super high quality fish but overall guys about the tournament footage i didn't get to record as much as i was wanting to sadly when i'm in a tournament i'm just so focused on you know catching fish grinding it out to the last minute not really messing around you know covering a lot of water doing my thing whatever it takes to win that tournament and sometimes you know if my gopro battery dies i tend to not change it out right then and there and that's kind of what happened on those two fish big fish that we didn't get on camera especially the big one and it was such a good catch like it was such a good catch because just the excitement of when we got that fish in the boat when the fish was jumping up like it would have all been on gopro and I, it just sucks to not get that but rather than that you know i got a little bit of footage i'm gonna throw something together i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet because i didn't get you know i didn't really film too much in practice as well it was just kind of all hectic you know everything was going on we had this going on that going on i had a lot going on i had homework and then everything just kind of piled on at once but I did get some footage, which I will be showing you guys. But overall, thank you guys so much for the support. Amazing first tournament of the year. I'm happy with the fifth place finish for the first event of the season, especially knowing that it was the state championship. And uh, I guess I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm possibly going to be uploading a video tomorrow, which is Tuesday. I do not know yet because of the hurricane and I have a very, 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 I had three projects that are due tomorrow. So I've been working on them all day. Yesterday I was working on them when I got back from the drive and it's just been wild. But thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys haven't already, be sure to pepper that like button up. Also, there's a little subscribe button. Yeah, the little red one, you know that thing. Be sure to press that bad boy and also press the little bell right next to it. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you all in the next I got sky like the weatherman, uh I crack cars, get hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters wins, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh